Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be doing is installing Ubuntu Desktop onto VirtualBox. If you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Alright guys, so what we're going to be doing is installing Ubuntu. So I already downloaded the ISO. So you can just go to ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. And what I downloaded is Ubuntu 19.10. This is the latest version. We can check out, you know, their release notes and you can see the instructions and blah, 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 you know, whatever you'd like to uh, check out and, you know, the, the download, but I already downloaded the ISO. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and install this. All right. So we're going to be installing this in VirtualBox. As you see, I have a few VMs in here already, but we're gonna be creating a new new VM, all right? So let's go ahead and go to machine, new. We're gonna just type in Ubuntu 19.10, all right? And this is fine, it's all good. Let me make sure that's, that's where I wanna put them. So, yes. yep, that's fine. And for the memory, I'll put eight gigs. That should be fine. And great, that's all good. VDI, that's that's good. Dynamic allocated. And I want to allocate. I want to say, I don't know, six, sixty-two. That should be fine. Okay, doesn't really matter. So. Now what we're going to do is go to details and I want to go to settings real quick and storage. See, there's a CD-ROM drive that's empty. We're going to go ahead and browse to an ISO. Okay. Downloads, where's my download? downloads? And we're going to open up this Ubuntu. All right, hit okay. And we're going to play it. We'll start and this is how we're going to go ahead and start this VM. Let's give it a second. And make this a little bigger so we can get some more real estate or not. It just like went right back, right back on me. All right, so let's just give that a second. And this is like if you want to learn how to use Linux, if you want to play around with a desktop distribution, um, you know, a lot of my videos I use Kali Linux, which is a penetration testing distro. But this is strictly for like if you want to have it as your desktop everyday, day to day uh, operating system, it's perfectly fine. If you want a, a distro to do day to day and you want more penetration tools driven, I suggest downloading Parrot OS and I do have it over here on the left if you can see it right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install. Not we're, We aren't going to try it, we're going to install it. So we'll click on install, give that a second. English and English in the US, wherever you are in the world, you can choose your layout, but I'm in the US and I speak English. So I'm going to use English. I'm going to hit continue here. We're going to do a normal installation and we're going to download the, the updates while it installs uh, Ubuntu. All right, so let's go ahead and continue here. This might take a few minutes. And like right now it is almost 9.30 p.m. EST. So let's just give this a second to, to do its thing. Okay, perfect. And um, the computer is currently, there's no operating system on the drive. So it's asking, what do we want to do? What we'd like to do? We're going to erase the drive and install Ubuntu. All right. So we're going to go ahead and install now. That's fine. This is, this is okay. This is like saying pretty much, if you have anything on your machine, it's about to get erased. And we're fine with that because there's no, there's nothing on that partition. So. We'll go ahead and hit install now. And this is the same concept, like if you have the USB, if you have a USB and you create a bootable USB and you plug it into your laptop, 
and you boot to your USB. And this is the same process if it's on a physical laptop, on a Raspberry Pi, if it's on your a VMware workstation, if it's on VirtualBox, VMware Player, the concept is the absolute same, right? It's absolutely the same. So where are you? New York is fine. Uh, so my name, I want to put, my name obviously is Patrick, but um, you know what, I'll just put Patrick. That's fine. And the computer name, I want to put, uh, I'm just going to put infosec pat dash vm. That should be fine. I want to put my fancy pantsy password. Whoops, I think I fat fingered that. All right, hit continue. All right, so this is gonna go through the install and we'll give this a few minutes. Let's see how long this takes. I would assume this is probably gonna take, it won't take too long since it's a, you know, a VM and uh, it is an SSD. So I don't think it should take that long. Let's see. We'll, um, let's hope it's not gonna take long. Like, like I said here, it's almost 9.30. And let's see, we'll give it a few minutes to go through its thing. Let's see what happens after this progress bar. And, uh, and besides uh, installing Ubuntu, hopefully everyone's staying safe from this uh, crazy coronavirus, right? It's, it's outrageous. I think people are just going bananas for this thing, huh? I don't really watch the news. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I don't really watch too much of the what's going on in the world. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. I feel every time you turn on the news, something bad happens, nothing good. So I just, I just don't watch the news. If I'm home, if I'm not making a video, either I'm watching, educating myself or, you know, reading up on something or learning something new, I'm trying to keep myself occupied, but not trying to listen to the news and the coronavirus and it's killing people and you know it's all negative you know it's nothing positive coming out of this so i'm not about that negativity life so i don't i try to uh keep my distance and just surround myself with you know the people that love me and lo i love and do the stuff i love and i enjoy and um yeah it's, you know keep life going you know do things that you love and um, so this might take a few. It is 926 right now. I'm going to pause the video. It says it has 100, uh, 147 uh, files to receive. So I want to let this do its thing. I'll, I'll get back to this video once this process has done, is done, OK? All right, so we'll be back shortly. Thanks. All right, guys, welcome back. So that took around 20 minutes or so to complete the, the full installation. So now we're just gonna go ahead and reboot this VM. So let's go ahead and do that. And once the machine reboots, it should be good to go. Oh, whoops, what did I do? Okay, please remove the installation media and stay, okay. So let's go ahead and go to the settings, storage, all right, so it's not there. So let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, so let that do its thing. It's gonna boot, then it's probably gonna say to log in. If I remember correctly, my username was Patrick and my password was my fancy password. We'll give this a second. And this is pretty much how you get um, Ubuntu or Ubuntu, wherever you are in the world, or your accent. I got an accent, I guess. So I just call it Ubuntu 19.10. So I'm looking forward to tinkering with this. So, all right, cool. So, so Patrick is my username and my fancy pantsy password. All right, let's see. Let's make sure we can get on the internet do a little app get update, you know, do a little uh, fanciness up real quick, just to make sure it's up to date and see if it connects to the internet and our installation will be successful. All right, so let's give this a second. All right, 
let's skip this. Next, next, done. All right, so this is our desktop. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal. Go ahead in here, it's not there. So we can just type terminal, click this. And just to make sure we have our, you know, up to date. So run the command, okay, so, so what, you, what we can do is run sudo apt-get update. Whoops, I fat fingered that. It's not gonna work, it's gonna say wah, wah, wah. All right, update. And that's gonna go out and update the, all the packages. So, let's try it again. It just probably had some files locked up. So that'll go out and do the upgrade for, you know, all the, all the updates. And once this is done, it's done. So we could do an upgrade, but it's probably the latest and greatest. Like this, and it'll probably say hit yes to continue. Yes. And then I'll go about doing the upgrade and all this cool stuff. All right, so that's the way you would get your Ubuntu 19.10 installed, updated, and then how you would upgrade it. And God only knows how long this is gonna take. So we can just cut the video here. And uh, again, like I always say, if you liked, Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, I have a few different projects coming up. Maybe I want to do a, a little surprise thing that you know I'm putting together. So stay tuned for that. And again, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And hopefully, you stay safe from this coronavirus. Be safe and healthy. And uh, we'll be uh, speaking soon. You see me soon. Cheers, man.